So what you should you do if you got a Johnson & Johnson vaccine? Our Stephanie Valderrama continues our live team coverage tonight. Yeah, she's here to explain the one important message researchers and doctors want to make sure gets out. Yeah, Jen, Liz, tonight they want to let everyone know that at this time there is no link between those blood clots and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine that paused strictly to give investigators time to look into these cases. The rollout of the single-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine came to a screeching halt Tuesday after the CDC and FDA issued a joint statement calling for a pause in vaccinations and distribution of the drug. More than 6.8 million Americans have already received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Of that number, six recently vaccinated women between the ages of 18 to 48 have experienced a very rare and potentially fatal blood clot. Several sources are reporting one of those women have died. So um, I think specifically they were worried about what's called a cerebral uh, venous sinus thrombosis, which is a type of clot you can actually get in the circulation around the brain. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Katonga Kimino explains that there is a treatment for these types of blood clots known as heparin. But according to the CDC, in these six cases, patients also had low blood platelets, so taking heparin could do more harm than good. The agency is also concerned this condition is so rare, most doctors won't recognize it. Do you agree or disagree with that? It's true. If you've already gotten the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, keep in mind if this is a side effect, which has not been proven, your chances of getting it are slim. But these are the symptoms to look out for just in case. Headaches, you know, possibly blurry vision, possible numbing uh, or weakness in one part of your face and possibly your body. Uh, and it's almost like having a, a stroke in a way. Do you believe that people who've already gotten the vaccine should be concerned? No. The CDC believes the pause will only last a few days. Dr. David Scott, a researcher of Johnson & Johnson, agrees and says the government did what it had to do. I think it's incumbent on the FDA and the CDC, faced with this information, for them not to have said something, for not them to have done something, would, would have been irresponsible. So they're absolutely doing the right thing. Again, if the clots are found to be connected to the vaccine, which at this point have not, the chances of that happening to you are very slim, less than one in a million. Jim, Liz. Stephanie, you've been participating in a Johnson & Johnson vaccine trial. Tell us a little bit about your experience. Any symptoms? So back when I got, so I'm doing the two doses of the single dose. And the reason I'm doing that is because Janssen, which is the parent company of Johnson & Johnson, wanted to see if giving two doses of the single dose would be more effective. After that first dose, I had a little bit of a fever. The second dose, same thing, but I mean, that was back in January when I got the first dose and nothing bizarre has happened since then. Liz? All right, good to hear. Stephanie Valderrama reporting for us live tonight. Meanwhile